welcome to cbtsport.net Game of the Week. Bringing you high school, college, amateur, semi-pro and professional sports video from right here in central Vermont. Over a decade local Central Vermont sports video action. Get ready, because it's time for the cbtsport.net game of the week. High school students can start college for free at the Community College of Vermont. Get a taste of college life and learn about options after high school by attending an access day and enrolling in our Intro to College and Careers class. Juniors and seniors are eligible for two dual enrollment vouchers, each good for one free CCV course. And seniors can complete their last year of high school and first year of college at the same time through the early college program. They can even stay at CCV and earn a free associate degree through the McClure Free Degree Promise. Learn more at gotocollegevt.org. Made possible by locally owned Packard Fuels, located in East Montpelier, Vermont. Packard Fuels is a proud supporter of local athletics and community events. Packard Fuels provides home heating oil and service throughout central Vermont. Owned by Ellery Packard III, Packard Fuels, 802-262-3835. Packard Fuels, keeping you warm. This game was made possible by Tournament Specialties, Central Vermont's corporate and team apparel specialists. If you are looking for an updated look for your business or want the latest look for your sports team, Tournament Specialties is the place to contact. Along with their embroidery and ink decorating services, they also work with groups who want a storefront to sell their items. A great way to fundraise without upfront cost and risk. Email Jeff at Tournament Specialties to learn more tournamentdesigns at gmail.com Mark and I worked at Barrytown Elementary School when we were in college. We're both very family oriented and community driven. Barry has a special place in our heart, obviously being our hometown. When I met Mark and Ruben, they were college grads. Seven years later, they manage over 750 units in Vermont. In their spare time, they give back to the people they grew up with. There are people in our community who are battling childhood cancer. This organization doesn't just financially fund their hospital bills. We actually help them out with the day-to-day -day expenses. Local business owners, local community members, just a lot of local people that are congregating to uh, help raise, raise a lot of money for these families. In small towns everywhere across America, this story gets repeated over and over. Local businesses coming together to support their friends, neighbors, and customers. Our priorities and the bank's priorities align. We're all trying to make the community a better place. This game is also made possible by Vermont Fellowship of Christian Athletes, established in 1954, a community working to see the world transformed by Jesus Christ through the influence of coaches and athletes. You can find more information at fcavermont.org and you can contact them by email at glennolson at fca.org. Good evening and welcome to Sabine Field on the campus of Norwich University where today the Norwich University cadets are generously hosting this boys division two playdown matchup featuring the number four ranked U32 Raiders and the visiting number 13 ranked Otter Valley Otters. I'm Carl Parton. I'll be bringing you the call on this boys division two soccer matchup and what a, a pleasure, what a you know, a good fortune that these teams are allowed to play on this excellent field. As many of you know, this summer has been very difficult uh, as far as a high volume of rain and many local uh, soccer pitches have just been uh, torn up from the rain. So Norwich was very gracious to allow us to come and have this boys division two play down matchup on the beautiful Sabine field here at Norwich University. Let's take a look at the teams in this one. Otter Valley comes into this game with a record of seven and seven. And it's an interesting Otter Valley team. They uh, played 
Uh, quite a few teams, quite a few strong teams, including Fairhaven, Woodstock, Stratton Mountain, and Hartford. Uh, and they won one against them and they lost one against them. Perfect symmetry, just like their 7-7 seven and seven record. Interesting, I say, because you don't know what Otter Valley team's going to come out. And they can surprise people. Many of you Otter Valley fans might remember last year in 2022 when they were the number 10 ranked team and they took on number 7 ranked Mount Abraham and they pulled the upset with a one nothing victory over Mount Abe in last year's playoffs. So this is a Otter, an, an Otter Valley team that uh, is dangerous. They can surprise people and it's a team that certainly U32 cannot take lightly. Not a single not one like opponent. U32 played in the Central uh, Mountain Division or the Central Lake Division, and Otter Valley played in the South Central, uh, Southwestern uh, Division, and uh, not a single opponent that both teams played. Mount Abe was on the, the scrimmage schedule for Otter Valley, but we don't have a result for that one, and you know, scrimmages aren't really a telling factor. Looking at the U32 Raiders in this one, they come into this one as the number four ranked team in boys division two soccer. Uh, 10 wins, three losses and one draw. And uh, really on a little bit of a skid, but the toughest part of their schedule, they've been shut out two games in a row. They lost two to nothing to number three ranked Hart, uh, Harwood. And they lost three to nothing in a game last Saturday against Division Three number one ranked Stowe, and Stowe is the heavy favorite to win the boys Division Three state championship again, which they've done about uh, ten or twelve times in the last fifteen years. So uh, Stowe a powerhouse, even though they're Division Three. Looking at uh, the U32 Raiders, uh, one positive they have seven shutouts this season, and. So uh, they're a team that can put together a very strong defense. They can come and really be difficult to, uh, to get past unless you're uh, very skilled and you get just the right shots off. So uh, Cole Pitsley, their goalkeeper, has had a great uh, debut season starting in goal for the U32 Raiders. He's a junior. He'll be back next year. And a strong defense uh, in front of him to really make things tough. So we're looking right now about a minute away from kickoff in this one, the U32 Raiders versus the Otter Valley Union Otters. This is an NFHS network broadcast in conjunction with CVTSport.net. We're glad to be partnering with NFHS and uh, bringing you some early playoff games. NFHS network primarily does championship games, but uh, they're... Uh, they have the video rights to the playoffs, so we want to get as many of these games on the NFHS network for fans around the nation to watch as we possibly can. We're listening to the VPA announcement right now uh, for expectations of fans, officials, players, and it looks like we're going to go to starting lineups. We, we may turn it over to Derek Dunning, the U32 athletic director, to give you those starting lineups for Otter Valley and Union 32. Maybe, maybe taking a quick pause. I don't think we're, I think the anthem will be after starting lineups. Good evening and welcome to Sabine Field on the campus of North University for tonight's boys soccer Vermont Division II matchup featuring the Otter Valley Union High School Otters and your U32 Raiders. <laughs> Let's meet the starting lineups first for Otter Valley Union High School. Number one, Owen Thomas. Number two, Isaiah Wood. Number three, Logan Laterna. Number six, Max Derby. Midfielder. Number seven, Connor Dennis. Midfielder. Number nine, Aiden Decker. Senior defender. Number 10, Drew Pelkey. Junior defender. Number 11, Timothy Barron. Sophomore midfielder. Number 15, Luke Kelvin. Junior defender. Number 21, Jacob Worrell. Sophomore defender. Number 32, Hayden Martin. And senior defender. The are coached by Brian Thomas. He's assisted by Adam Kelvin. 
Ryan Thomas in his second year at the now helm. Now the for your U32 winners. Number one, Cole Pitsley. Junior goalkeeper. Number seven, Caden Bodak Turner. Junior midfielder. Number nine, Zephyr Lowe. Junior midfielder. Number 10, Zach Parin. Junior Number wing. Number 11, Bennett Clark. Senior midfielder. Number 12, Noah Costco. Junior center back. Number 13, Shiloh Weiss. Junior attacking Number midfielder. 14, Roy McClay. Senior wing Number back. Number Luke Page. Senior winger. Number 22, Maddox Heights. Junior striker. Number 28, Owen Dyer. And freshman wing back. The Raiders are coached by Mike Noyes. He's assisted by Brian Clark. And now for you please rise if you're able to for the playing of the National Anthem. Most ready for the kickoff on this NFHS Network CVTSport.net joint production of high school soccer. It's playoff time. Anything can happen. And let's take a look at the keys of the game. First of all, we talked to Coach Brian Thomas in his second year as the varsity head coach of Otter Valley. He wanted to limit early opportunities for U32 and hopefully catch U32 off guard. And for Mike Noyes, and I asked him, he's up around 20 years. Uh, he wants to control the midfield, cash in on opportunities, and he also likes the way his team moves the ball. He wants to use the field. All right, getting started in this one, the U32 Raiders are in their home. Navy Blues, or I guess uh, Blues, I, I won't even, I won't even venture a guess on the shade. And uh, the Otters are in their white uniforms with the blue shorts. The uh, U32 Raiders will start with a kickoff on this one. It's Maddox Heiss, the starting striker. We'll lead it off with a kickoff. Again, these teams have not played a like opponent this year, so a bit of a mystery. This may be the first indicator of how the South fares against the North in soccer this year. We know that Montpelier, Harwood, very strong sides, and we're gonna see uh, how this plays out. Ball on the far side of the field, played into the middle, and there's Ben Clark, plays it all the way back to Pitsley in the goal. Pitsley outside to Zephyr Lowe. Lowe looking forward ahead, gets it to Shiloh Weiss. Weiss to Clark. Clark plays it outside to McLean, his fellow senior. McLean looking down the line to Parton. Parton with a through ball to Heiss, the junior striker, with a nice move, brings it back inside into the middle, and it's played out. Well done by the center defender. Here's Caden Bodock Turner now for U32. Here's a strike by Clark, and it's wide right of the post. And a lot of touches early for U32. And I think this is what Coach Mike Noyes was hoping for and expected. It is a lot of control game by his U32 Raiders. It's a good goal kick by Wood, the goalkeeper on the far side, on the foot of uh, Connor Dennis. He's that left winger for Otter Valley. 
Low plays this one out of bounds. Dennis will take the throw in. Looking down the line. Racing after it is low. And uh, this one goes over the end line. Kicked out. Nice hustle that time by TJ Barron, the sophomore midfielder. It will be a goal kick for the Raiders. This is a spacious college field. Uh, much bigger than uh, I believe they, they play on some of the fields they play on, certainly during the regular season. But you're going to get true rolls on the artificial turf here. And uh, probably advantageous for a control team like U32, although there's a nice step up. Punching it forward is Hayden Martin. And uh, that's the way Otter Valley likes to do things. They'll go over the top, try to catch the opponent off guard a little bit with those long balls over the top. And uh, they did nip Har uh, Hartford earlier in the year with that strategy. Here's the ball on the far side. Parton has switched over to the right wing. Plays it to Shiloh Weiss in the middle, Weiss to Clark. A lot of time to work in that middle. Here goes Clark maneuvering around. Pulls the trigger and just over the crossbar. He can get some pace on that ball. And if you give him that much space, he's going to pull the trigger. If he gets his knee over the ball, it's going to be very difficult for Isaiah Wood, the senior goalkeeper, to keep it out of the back of the net. Wood will take the goal kick for the Otters. Here's the header. Parton plays it down, looking inside for Bodock Turner, defended away. Low, ahead. It's a good battle on the far side. Parton comes away with it around the corner, looking for the cross, cross into the middle. And Heist got a head on it, but it was a little too long for him to maintain possession. Clark races after it, keeps it in play. Working with Luke Page, the senior left winger now. And here's a takeaway by Letourneau, the junior midfielder for Otter Valley. Nice ball down the line. Noah Kopsko, the junior center back, will come play that one away. Here's Shiloh Weiss, chips ahead, looking for Heiss. And a great play by Martin to just send that one packing. Trapped down by McLean. Clark plays it back to Lowe. Lowe on the far side. On to the freshman foot of Dyer. Dyer's been a nice surprise for U32. And that right back spot, that was a hole. They weren't sure they were gonna, how they were going to fill early in the year. But Dyer's been uh, very strong, good physical wing back, and filled that hole nicely. Looks like this one is tipped out of bounds by Otter Valley. It will be a throw in for Dyer and the Raiders. Here's Lowe now with some time. Sends one long. First touched by Otter Valley, racing on to it is Calvin, I believe. No, that's number 10, sorry, that's uh, Drew Pelkey, the junior midfielder. Here's Noah Kopsko, he's got time. Good pressure that time by Letourneau. Ben Clark running onto the ball, plays it to Weiss in the middle. U32 on the counterattack now. Weiss looking for Heiss, just out of his reach. Keeper Wood comes on, and good timing, good choice that time by Isaiah Wood. And he's the first person to find out how uncomfortable it is to slide on artificial turf. Uh, it doesn't give like natural grass, so you're going to get a little rug burn because it's a rug. Bodock Turner with a nice play down onto the foot of Clark. Clark now looking outside to Page. Page tries to play it back. Here's Bodock Turner now for the Raiders. Dump off to Weiss, or yes, Shiloh Weiss. Weiss plays it outside to McLean. McLean inside to Bodock Turner making a run. Well defended, taken away by Pelkey, and Pelkey plays it up the line and keeps it in. Kopsko is there, racing after him is Owen Thomas, the leading goal scorer and the most dangerous threat 
for the Otter Valley Otters. Here's Dyer now on the outside for the Raiders. He gets around the corner, plays ahead to Parton, Parton back to Dyer. Good ball movement by U32. Here's Lowe looking for the long ball ahead. Taken down by, that was Worrell, and Kopsko plays this one out of bounds, out of danger. Thomas was making a nice run onto that through ball. Played out of bounds again by Dyer this time. Dennis will take the throw in, playing it back. Good hustle by Weiss. Sends it into the defensive end of Otter Valley. A near mistake there, but good recovery in the back. I think it was. Oh, here's a takeaway by Clark. Good tackle. Here's Clark, he's got space, he goes for the low post and uh, gets it high on the boot, wide right. Good opportunity for U32. Isaiah Wood will take this free kick, this goal kick for the Otters. Good hustle by Weiss, getting a boot on that one. Here's Otter Valley on the counter attack. It is Dennis looking forward. Good job by Pitsley coming out for that one. A lot of lines on this multi-sport facility, use facility, so you gotta be careful. You gotta watch for just the yellow if you're a soccer fan. Here's Page now, crosses it into the middle, gets all the way to the far wing, Parton tracks it down. Ball sent back toward the U32 end. Low in a foot race with Thomas. Thomas has some wheels. Thomas gets around the corner, and Pitsley is in position, though. Low may have thought he had a little more time than he did, because uh, Owen Thomas can uh, turn on the Jets. Here's Cops go now, playing it outside to McLean. McLean looking forward to Page. Page with a nice trap, finds Clark in the middle. Clark with a through ball to Heiss. Heiss back to Clark, it gets away from him. Tipped away. Nice defensive play that time by Dennis checking back. Dyer crosses it in the middle, Page gets control. And uh, we have a player down, it's a player for Otter Valley. Looks like Laterno. he's walking off under his own power. That's a good sign. We hate seeing anybody hurt and a, a very short bench for this Otter Valley team. I'm counting five players suited up over there. So that kind of limits the options. Checking in for Laterno is Brody Lathrop, a sophomore midfielder. This ball will be dropped in the middle Weiss will take it. And he does the classy thing and plays it back to Clark. Here's the give and go. Weiss now with a spin move, plays it outside to Parton. Parton crosses one into the middle. Page is there, oh, and gets through. Cleared away by the Otter Valley defense. Here's Clark now, looking for Heiss again on the through ball. Here's the chance for Otter Valley on the counterattack. This one going down the sideline and out of bounds. Dyer will take the, no, nope. who will take the throw? It will be, it is Dyer on that far side. Here's Weiss. Bumps the Otter Valley player off the ball. Here's McLean now, a little stop and go dribble. Trying to get it into the middle. It's Lathrop, who just came into the game. Clark now with a takeaway for U32. Gets past two defenders, crosses it to Heiss. Heiss across into the middle, back to Clark. Pulls the trigger, it's deflected. 
Here's Bodak Turner and gets the shot off, but it goes wide right of the post. Was it deflected? The answer is yes, because Bodak Turner and Weiss are going over to the corner to take that corner kick. They'll do the short corner sometime, but it looks like uh, they're being pressured now on that side by Connor Dennis, so they may send this one into the middle. Good targets. Page, McLean, and they do, do, do go for the short corner. This one sent into the middle, and uh, Clark gets his head on it, but it goes wide right of the post. Good opportunities early for U32. Nothing really on target, though. Isaiah Wood will take the goal kick for Otter Valley. Clark gets first touch on it for the Raiders. Plays it back to McLean. Senior captain to senior captain. Here's Kopsko now. Plays it back to Pitsley. Pitsley sends this one. That's a kickball double. Didn't want to mess around with that one. Toby Brown's checked into this left wing for Page, and he just uh, got his first touch of the game, making his run down the left side now. It's in a foot race and a battle with Hayden Martin, and Martin plays it out of bounds. It will be a throw-in for the Raiders. McLean will come up to take it from his wing back position. McLean looking to the middle. Here's Clark looking for Weiss. Kopsko in support, making his run. Out to the side to Brown, and that one's going to have a lot of pace on it. Brown hustles after it, keeps it in play. Back to McLean. McLean with the cross. Deflected away. Well defended that time. I think it was uh, TJ Barron with a nice play. There's Luke Calvin. Clark now. Head to Brown. Brown into the middle to Weiss. Young players, watch Weiss. Before he receives that, he was looking left, looking right, trying to find an open teammate and decide what he was going to do before the ball even got to him. Here's a takeaway by Otter Valley. Right back onto the foot of a U32 player. Here's Brown. Clark steps in and keeps it in bounds. Clark in the corner, cross into the middle. It's a low hard one and a great stop by Isaiah Wood. It's one of those dangerous balls across the goal mouth, but Wood was ready to make the play. Nice step up by Zephyr Lowe for U32. I like the play of Drew Pelkey. In that midfield, he's set the table nicely a couple times. Here's Letourneau back into the game. And uh, two Raiders collide that time. And it was uh, Dyer coming over to clear that one away, he and Bodock Turner. Nobody wanted to mess around with that dangerous ball in the middle. Here's Thomas now, McLean, shoulder to shoulder with him, crossed into the middle. Here's a chance, it's a shot and a field goal. Luke Calvin had a good look at it, got a little bit over it, but he had a lot of net to look at on that one. And that, I think, ex was exactly what Coach Brian Thomas was talking about. Let's see if we can uh, surprise them, make something happen. Aiden Houston, the sophomore wing back, will check into the game. Dyer checks out of the game. Zephyr Lowe will take the goal kick for U32. It's a boomer all the way to midfield, part with a skip header into the middle. Cleared away nicely in the back. And Max Derby, solid defender. This one back to Pitsley, being pressured. Out to the side he goes to Houston. Parton streaking back to break up that back pass. 
It'll be off Otter Valley. Here's Bodock Turner. First touch, though, by TJ Barron. Cleared away by Derby. Here's another shot. Pitsley is there. Good opportunity that time. I believe it was Thomas that got the boot on that one. Here's Letourneau when he's slammed off the ball. Letting him play a little bit out there. Good stop and go by Clark. Good challenge by Hayden Martin. That right back for Otter Valley. Throwing will be taken by Aiden Decker. Decker a key defender for Otter Valley in that center defensive midfield spot. Bodock Turner looking for an open teammate. Nobody there. And here's Martin. His uh, clear is blocked. Brown with a nice step up. Good pass by Weiss to Bodock Turner. Lowe looking outside to Houston. Here's a takeaway. Lowe's there to drop in and support Bodock Turner now. Battling for it. Keeps it in play. Here's Weiss in the middle. Looking to Brown on the near side. McLean looking for the overlap that time. Gets it from his fellow defender. Kopsko crossed into the middle. Good hustle by Heist to keep control of that one. Looking for Parton ahead. Gets a boot on it, but uh, it's partially deflected by the wing back. Another excellent defensive play by Drew Pelkey. Dropping back out of that wing midfielder spot. Brown gets the first touch on the clear. Here's Weiss now, down the left side, crossed into the middle. Heiss is there and gets a head on it, but just a little high for him. It's going to be a goal kick for Otter Valley. And I got to tell you, every minute this game goes by where U32 doesn't score, it's a little bit more confidence for the Otter Valley Otters. Dylan Curtis, the freshman wing, will uh, check into the game for Otter Valley. Wood with a nice clear. Clark gets first touch on it, but down onto the boot of Thomas. Clark to Weiss. Weiss has all day to dribble. He's looking for Heiss, and uh, on turf, that's the perfect, I mean, on grass, that's the perfect pass. On turf, it was two ball rotations too fast for Heiss to get to it. Substitute uh, Theo Gewissler into the game. He'll get some time on that right wing spot for U32. Here's a good through ball. Cops go coming. Pitsley out and good timing by Pitsley. Again, Owen Thomas has some speed. Cops go is uh, lightning fast and they were step for step with one another going back for that ball. Here's McLean now for U32, back to Kopsko. Kopsko looking forward, gets it uh, a nice long pass to Clark. Clark to Weiss. Weiss again has all day. Martin gets a boot on that one, sends it over to the sideline out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for U32. Here's McLean inside to Parton. Parton has some space, looking ahead to uh, Heiss, and uh, I think they're going to call the offsides on that one, I believe. No. Yes. Offsides on McLean. Uh, or I said McLean, I meant Heiss. So it will be a free kick. It will be Max Derby. 
Brown gets the first touch on this one. Ahead to Weiss. Weiss looking for the give and go with Brown. Keeps it in play. Back to McLean. McLean finds Parton in the middle now. He's moved from the right wing spot into the center defense or center midfield spot. Clark looking for Parton and a near one. Clark pulls the trigger. It's low. It's hard. Just right of the post. Beautiful strike that time by Clark. Excellent ball movement that time by the Raiders. Bodak Turner back into the game. Joe Whistler is going to move over to the left wing spot, parting back to the right wing spot. Good defensive play by Zephyr Lowe on that one to get it off the Otter Valley foot. Here's McLean to Weiss. McLean again looking for an open teammate. He has Lowe who's made the overlapping run. Lowe finds Clark. Clark chips one ahead. And I think Heiss was coming toward him and Clark wanted either him to go away or he wanted left winger Joe Whistler to make that run. Wood with the punt, first touched by John Johnson. Here's Weiss now, looking for Heiss. It gets through a defender. Heiss pulls the trigger on target, but Wood makes the save. Raiders starting to uh, sight in the rifles, if you will a little bit, but Wood's been in good position thus far. Nice give and go by Otter Valley. Like the play by Thomas. Real creative, whether he helps back on the wing or goes to the middle. Here's the pass to Heiss again, looking for Clark. Clark coming back to get things going for the Raiders. Looks for the long field switch. Whistler with a nice trap down. McLean with the overlap. Cuts it back into the middle. He's got space in the middle. Back to Whistler on the left side. Here's the boot across the middle, but it's knocked away. Bodock Turner traps it down. Tries to hit it back in, but well defended. Aiden Decker and uh, Coach Thomas talked about Decker before the game, how he was a very effective defender, or maybe one of the best defenders on the team, and could always count on him. Here's a ball that gets through. This is going to be a throw-in for Parton. Usually Parton very effective at the long throw-ins. This is a bigger field, so I'm not sure if he can uh, get it all the way to the center like he does on the small fields or not. It's a good one right on the foot of Clark, though. Clark pulls the trigger. He shoots. Oh, and a save by Isaiah Wood. That one was on target with pace. Clark did earn his team a corner kick. Bodock Turner and Weiss will go over and set it up again. That's, this is going to be the second corner kick for U32. Played short. Weiss to Bodock Turner. A little too much pace on that. Again, it's a perfect pass on grass. Oop, two Raiders collide. A little, little shoving and... And here's a even strength matchup. Zephyr Lowe is there to step up and it's chipped toward Pitsley, makes the play. Good overlapping run that time by Aiden Decker from the back to create some offense for Otter Valley. Here's McLean to Weiss, Kopsko into the middle, ahead to Heiss. And it's a nice takeaway by Hayden Martin. Martin's played some good wing back for this Otter Valley team. Here's Gewissler now. Kopsko, who stepped up on the offensive end, pulls the trigger and uh, it's deflected away. Another nice defensive play by Derby. Here's Parton. Parton chips one toward the goal. No, it's to Gewissler on the far side. Gewissler tries to cross it and he wins his team a corner kick. This will be the third corner kick for U32 of the evening. A 
Looks like Shiloh Weiss will go over to the corner alone, so he'll, he'll be sending the long ball across. I like it. He's got Ben Clark, an excellent target. Maddox Heiss, very good in the air as well. McLean, good in the air, and Parton has uh, springs. Oh, here's a header, and Wood is in good position. Good job that time. I think it was McLean that got his head on that one to put it on net. Whoa! There's an undercut there, and it will be a free kick. Those always scare me. That's when uh, somebody can, you take out their landing gear and all that's left is hands or head, and that uh, could be a concussion or a wrist ish issue. So I, I like the way that Lowe was able to regain composure and land without harm. It's gonna be a throw in for Otter Valley now, I believe. And Yeah, that is a number fifty. Oh, Luke Calvin, yep. Trying to a nice little heel kick move to keep it moving forward for Otter Valley. Here's the dangerous Thomas. Cops goes right there to take it away. Oh, and that one slips off Cops goes foot. And it's gonna be the first corner kick for Otter Valley of the afternoon. Again, the difference between turf and grass, Cops go took just that half second to look up to see an open teammate. The ball slipped right between his legs on this speedy turf. Copsco makes up for it by a great defensive header, nodding that one away. McLean plays it over the sideline. Out of bounds. Here's the throw in by Pelkey. First touch by O'Donnell, who's checked into the game. O'Donnell ahead to Weiss. Weiss. Plays it outside to Parton. He's got space. Looking back inside. Oh. And a ball across for Heist, just a step in front of him. Again, if we're on grass and not turf, that's a little bit slower. Heist gets to it, and he knocks in an easy tap in. Great pass by Weiss, great pass by Parton, and uh, just a step away from U32 getting on the board. Low sends this one out of bounds over the Otter Valley bench. Coming up for the throw in will be Drew Pelkey. And uh, what's the call? Is it a foul or an illegal throw? It looks like an illegal, illegal throw. Yes, so the Raiders will take it in. Here's Parton now. Crosses it into the middle. He finds Weiss. Weiss looking for Heiss. Oh, Heiss had some time, but uh, didn't get around on that one and sends it wide right of the post. A lot of opportunities for U32, nothing in the back of the net yet. And every minute that goes by, Otter Valley gaining more confidence. The number 13 seed looking to play a little bit of Cinderella. The Raiders have not scored for two straight games, both Harwood and Stowe, so... They're uh, looking to get off this, what you might call a drought, a scoring drought. Copsco gets it to low. Low controls to Bodoc Turner. Bodoc Turner now with some space up the middle, making his run. He was looking for Weiss, who was making that through run, but it's deflected away. Here is Calvin Clark with a takeaway. Clark played into the middle, headed away. Here's O'Donnell. O'Donnell gets a good boot on it, but again, the stout defense of Max Derby, two uh, deflections in a row to prevent the ball even to get from getting to Wood. Parton with a cross into the middle. Oh, and that was a tough one. Wood had to get up on his toes. It was slicing in at Wood, and uh, Wood able to make the save. Tiptoe, fingertip stop. Woods punt is a high one. Clark gets first touch on it. 
Here's Martin trying to boom it down toward the U32N, plays it high into the air again. Clark gets it. Here's Heiss now. Wants the handball, doesn't get it. Here's Zephyr Lowe into the middle. And they let him play on. He might have been grabbed on that one. Keeping it himself still. And finally, the defense of Otter Valley knocks it away. Oh, and now there's a whistle. And it will be a free kick. Stepping up to take it will be Max Derby. Parton with a nice one-timer to Weiss. Here's Clark. Clark to McLean on the overlapping run from the wing back position. Back to Clark. Clark gets past one defender, crosses it. Here's Weiss. Deflected. And I want to see if that, yeah. Uh, once again, it's Drew Pelkey. He's played some excellent defense out there for Otter Valley. <laughs> it's going to be a throw in for U32. Parton with a long throw in into the middle, finds Weiss. Martin and Heiss battling for it in the box. Cleared away. That was by Decker. Clark crosses it in the middle. Bodoc Turner plays it back. U32 back on sides. Here's Parton on the wing. Crossed into the middle. Wood is there and goes up for it. I like the thought by Parton that time. Clark was coming in, and Clark is such a good target for a header. Weiss with a takeaway. Gets past one defender. And a second defender. Quick double team, and he earns his team a corner kick. Great quick footwork that time by Shiloh Weiss. Bodoc Turner's going to go over, so they'll give themselves the option on this, their fourth corner kick of the first half, whether to go short corner or send the long ball. They go long ball, cleared away by Derby. On the foot of Thomas now. Headed back in by McLean. Here's Lowe. Oh, and he pulls the trigger. Oh, and paying the price is Decker. Weiss and Bodog Turner. Here's a shot. Oh! And uh, barely saved by Wood. That was headed for the upper left hand corner. Bodog Turner had that one on target. Wood was leaning a little bit to his left and had to lunge right in order to make that save. Bodog Turner will take this corner kick. Low bouncer deflected away out of bounds and he'll get another chance at it. Caden Bodock Turner, part of a strong junior class. Here's another good one and it's headed away right back to Bodock Turner. And uh, we're gonna call I don't know. He didn't make a pass, so was it an offsides or did that one twist out of bounds? Interesting. Nice step up by Dyer on the far side. Here's Clark now. In the middle, he's got space again. Gets it to O'Donnell. Clark with a nice stop and go. Finds McLean. McLean ahead to Heiss. Into the middle to Weiss, and he was looking for a dump off on the give and go with McLean. Couldn't connect on that one. Nice step up by Kopsko. A little Meritana move by Kopsko. Now looking for Heiss, but can't make the connection.
soccer camp kids practice that uh, for all week long, uh, you know, and it's not often you actually get to use the move and beat somebody with it. Fun stuff. Luke Page back into the game on the right wing for U32. Page around the corner. Can he keep it in? No, it's going to go over the sideline. This one goes over the sideline. It will be a throw in for U32. Coming up to take it will be Dyer. Owen Dyer, the freshman wing back for U32. Looking for Page. This one's going to go in, and it will be picked up by Isaiah Wood. Wood has uh, been a shining star. He's been tested quite a bit, especially in the last five or six minutes. Handball, this is going to be a free kick for U32. Kopsko will come up to take it. U32, if they don't score in the next three minutes, it will be five straight halves that they have not put a ball into the back of the net. That's a streak they want to break and break soon. Here's Kopsko. Good service. First touched and knocked away by Derby. Here's Weiss to Clark. Clark with a nice move to the outside. Gets around the corner. Cross into the middle. It's a good one. O'Donnell shoots. It's deflected, though. Nice opportunity there. And uh, I want to give credit where credit is due. Pelkey got his foot on that one to slow it down and redirect it just enough for Wood to be able to make the stop. Great clear by Zephyr Lowe that time to send it up the sideline, keeping it, in, keeping it inbounds. Here's Page now. Good job by Kopsko. Sending that one away. Letourneau was there, and uh, he could have made a dangerous run had he connected with that ball. McLean with a head away on the ball from Calvin. Martin. Weiss. Martin. Sends it high into the air. Letourneau picks it up for Otter Valley. Clark to Weiss. Kopsko trying to play it and does play it down the sideline. McLean ahead to Heiss. Here's Clark now. Heiss with the overlapping run and well defended. Coming in to knock it away. Aiden Decker once again. Senior defender in that center back spot. And he's so effective. Here's a cross by Clark and it's going to go over the end line. Time ticking away here in the first half. Still no score. And it will be a full five halves without scoring for U32 if they don't make something magical happen in this last 30 seconds. Good job by Dyer on the step up. Keeps control. Played into the middle to Weiss. Just out of his reach. Here's Kopsko. Letourneau running onto it. Kopsko with a nice run and jump there. And that is going to do it here in the first half. No score for Otter Valley, nothing for U32. You're watching Division II Playoff Soccer on the NFHS Network and on CBTSport.net.
here in this boys division two soccer matchup from Sabine Field on the campus of Norwich University. I'm Carl Parton, I'm bringing you the call on this game and it is a playoff quality matchup. You never know what's gonna happen in playoffs. And I mentioned neither of these teams played each other in the regular season. They also never played a like opponent. So this is the first indication we have uh, this 2023 playoff season of uh, what we can expect as far as uh, the North quality versus the South quality. It will be Otter Valley leading things off right now with a kickoff and it will be the dangerous Owen Thomas leading goal scorer for the Otters this season. He's joined up front by TJ Barron. Again, Otter Valley in the white uniforms with the blue shorts. U32 in the blue jerseys with the black shorts. Raiders win the throw in on this one on the far side. O'Donnell who stayed into the game. Here's Weiss in the middle looking for Parton and he sends that one a little long. Here's the throw in for Dennis. Dennis down the sideline. Good stop and go. Dyer comes in and plays it over the edge. Dennis will take the throw, looks back, gets it onto the foot of Pelkey. Pelkey into the middle. O'Donnell with a nice step up. Here's Bodoc Turner. Tripped up a little bit and he'll win the free kick for the Raiders. Topsco will step up to take it as the Raiders get into position. Topsco sends one in and headed away. Good job by Pelkey. And here's a strike and a save by Wood. Excellent strike that time by Ben Clark on target and Wood had to make another dynamic save. Here's McLean on the far side, looking ahead to O'Donnell, back to McLean. Here's Clark again, changes fields to Weiss. Weiss looking outside to Parton. Parton back to Dyer. Here's Weiss. Weiss sees a hole, he takes it. Into the middle, Bodoc Turner trying to get it back to Weiss. Bodoc Turner battles through. Sends it in, oh, and it's deflected away. Good defense once again by Pelkey. Parton looking for the one-two with Bodoc Turner. It's cleared away by Derby. Parton looking inside for Weiss, off target. Played away nicely by Decker. Here's Kopsko with a step up. Clark. Out of that center defensive midi spot with the takeaway. Ahead to O'Donnell. O'Donnell with a through ball to Parton. Parton racing onto it. Crosses it into the middle. Boda Turner with a one timer just left of the post. Excellent cross. Nice thought on the one timer. Great scoring opportunity that time for U32. And uh, even with the dynamic play of Wood, something that happened that quick would have been difficult to stop on target. Wood with the goal, goal kick. Weiss gets it. Parton with the back header to Bodoc Turner. Bodoc Turner back to him into the middle again from Parton. And O'Donnell tries the jump and kick that time. Here's McLean. McLean looking for the overlap. Here's the takeaway. Good run by Thomas. Kopsko gets it out of danger. O'Donnell on the outside to McLean. Heiss with a nice cross into the middle. Kopsko finds Weiss. Weiss, one man to beat. Stop and go and cleared away in it. Weiss's speed and footwork is going to win another.
corner kick for U32, first of the second half. Bodock Turner comes to set up the short corner. Clark to Kopsko. Kopsko looking for Parton. Parton into the middle. Pulls the trigger. He shoots. Oh, and it's another dynamic save by Wood. Great strike by Parton. And the U32 wins another corner kick. Wood is a wall. Here's Bodoc Turner with a corner, curling in. Parton almost got a header on that one, and it uh, curls out of bounds. And it will be Wood for the goal kick. Otter Valley doesn't mess around. They go, well, I was just going to say they go long almost every time. All on the foot of Dennis, working the two-man game with Pelkey, and it goes over the sideline. Raider ball. Dyer will take the quick throw in, looking for Parton down the line. Parton heads it into the middle, looking for Bodoc Turner. Good step up by Zephyr Lowe. Ball deflected into the middle. Here comes Clark. Clark looking forward to Bodot Turner and well defended that time. Stepping up once again is Decker. Weiss does a good job keeping that one in play, but right into the hands of Wood. Wood now will take a look around, looking for that open teammate. Otter Valley pretty dangerous if they can get those long balls over the top. Good job by Clark controlling that middle. Bodoc Turner run off the ball. Well defended by Derby. Clark, though, comes away with it. Clark has some space. And excellent poke check that time by Decker to get it off Clark's foot. Here's Clark again into the middle to Weiss. Weiss looking for Parton, but racing back and breaking up the play was uh, Dennis. Here's Clark, it's a low hard ball just wide left of the post. Toby Brown is gonna check in on the right wing. O'Donnell comes out. The Whistler, I believe, also came back in. Good overlapping run by Otter Valley. Cops goes there, knocks it into the middle, racing after it. He's got space. A little too far off his foot, but he wins the 50-50 ball with Dennis. Here's Weiss. Looking ahead to Kopsko, headed into the middle, far post, and cleared away. Smart play by senior Hayden Martin. He, U32 will get their third corner kick of this second half, but uh, that was in a dangerous spot, and Martin did the right thing. Raiders setting up for the corner kick. Looking like they're going to play the short corner again. Nope. Bodoc Turner will take this one. So curled in the middle. Gawizler, oh, with a nice redirect, but Wood again in the perfect position. Gawizler did the one touch that time off the side of his foot, and McLean booms it back into the goal box, and Wood is there to handle it. A lot of good opportunities here in the second half. U32 a little bit out of position. Brown hustling back, chasing down Dennis. Dennis down this left wing. And uh, into the hands of Pitsley, the goalkeeper for U32. Pitsley rolls it forward. Played back to Kopsko. On the wing to McLean. 
U32 so lucky to have that anchor and that senior wing back in Rory McLean. They can count on his uh, passing, his steady defense, just his soccer game IQ. Oh, nice thought that time by Heiss looking for Bodoc Turner in the middle. Here's Clark now. Clark with the cross, and Wood is in the right place at the right time again. Brown was racing onto that one. He would have had an open net if Wood didn't handle that one. Here's Gawistler in the middle, finds Weiss. Back to Gawistler, pulls the trigger, but it's deflected. Nice defense by Decker. Clark chips one in. Here's Brown, it's a short hard ball, another great save by Wood and another smart clear by Martin. Excellent strike by the freshman and this will be the fourth corner kick of the second half for U32. They are putting tons of pressure on Wood but uh, this Wood bends but does not break. Here's Weiss. Cops go with a takeaway. A good job by Otter Valley, the takeaway. Here is Calvin now, making some nifty moves. Gets past a couple defenders, not the third. Here's Gawizler now. Keeps control, here's Weiss. Bodot Turner to Weiss and uh, leans back on one. Sends it over the crossbar. Still no score in this one. Here's the goal kick by Wood. Curving to the wing. Good challenge by Weiss. Brown looking for the one two with Weiss. Take away by Dennis. Dennis looking for Pelkey down the line into the middle. Thomas. Kopsko is there. And great play by Pitsley to clear that one away. U32 again, a bit out of shape here. On the far side, on the foot of Lathrop, I believe. That's number four. Here's Kopsko to Clark. Takeaway by Letourneau. Lathrop with the overlapping run, tries to cross it into the middle. Low heads it away. Here's Clark sending it long. Bodock Turner running onto it, but uh, playing it out to the side is Decker. And it'll be a throw in for U32. Parton comes back into the game. He's gonna send Bodock Turner back to the center defensive midi spot. Looks like the Raiders have moved into a three-man line here. Parton may be at the striker spot. Misplay on the cross. Here's Bodock Turner handling it. Gets it to Brown. Ooh. Nice step up by Zephyr Lowe. Here's Parton in the middle. Looking for Weiss, it's deflected. Sent over to the sideline. Cops go. Nice play through a couple defenders. Otter Valley comes away with it though. No, it's Lowe coming away with it. Here's Weiss, he's got space. Crosses into the middle. Nice takeaway by Heiss. <laughs> Here's Clark now trying to settle it at his feet. Clark now to low. Here's Weiss, he's got a chance. Here's a shot, it's a goal! Ben Clark to Shiloh Weiss. 
and the Raiders get on the board. With 26.06 on the clock. And a great pass, great through ball, great run, and a great finish by Weiss there. And that's the only way they snuck something past Isaiah Wood today. A breakdown in the defense in front of Wood on uh, two great passes. Hotter Valley will look to battle back. Some played into the U32 end. Kopsko plays it over to the sideline wisely. I believe it was Thomas in pursuit. It was. That's been a fun speed matchup to watch. Thomas versus Kopsko tonight. Here's Martin. Martin with a run. Pulls the trigger into the middle and uh, it's played out of bounds. Kopsko didn't want to let that get by him. So this is going to be a corner kick for Otter Valley. Could be the first of the evening. They might have had second of the evening. So they did have one in the first half. Trying to see, I think it's Lathrop taking it. No, it's Thomas taking it. It's a good one. Bouncing around in the box, sent back. And uh, getting a boot on it was Calvin, but sends that wide right. The winner of this game will take on the winner of the Hartford versus Milton game. Number five, Hartford, number 12, Milton. U32 took on Hartford in the quarterfinals last year at Hartford, and they were, Hartford was the number four seed. Uh, U32 was the number five. Here's McLean, his ball forward, Parton, overlapping run by Heiss. He's got space. Here comes Heiss, and uh, deflected away, cleared away by Martin. So he's gonna go over the sideline. Parton will step up to take it. Looking for Clark in the middle. Clark, stop and go, crosses into the middle. And a little long, Weiss is there to recover. Here's Clark now getting the loose ball. Tries to chip it forward to Weiss and uh, Wood makes the play. Good hustle, good first touch. That time by Calvin. Calvin making a run. Dispossessed by Clark. Clark up the line to Weiss. Taps it to Brown. Down the line to Heiss. Keeps it in play, but coming away with it is Pelkey. Brown sticking with it. Here's Kopsko, ahead to Bodock Turner. Played back to McLean. McLean keeps possession. Clark looking for Kopsko. Kopsko pulls the trigger, but it's deflected away. Hunter Valley fearless at getting in front of those power shots from distance. Here's Clark and uh, gets it to Parton, almost. That quick double team on Clark made it difficult for him to make the pass. Clark sends it in. Cops go now, nice tap to Bodock Turner. Bodock Turner in the middle. Here's the pass to Heiss and Heiss. Off the post, no, off the side net. So 
It's going to be a goal kick for Otter Valley. Wood will take it. Clark, and a lot of space for U32 on a lot of those free balls. Otter Valley settling in back in their defense. Here's, oh, Heiss tries the outside of the foot, but another great save by Wood. Excellent option opportunity for Heiss and the Raiders. Dyer will take the throw in for U32. Finds O'Donnell, Bodock Turner changes fields to Weiss. Weiss in the middle, gets past one defender. Tapped away. O'Donnell back to low. Low back to O'Donnell. Bodock Turner's there looking for the pass to Heiss, can't connect with it. Thomas with a nice turn. Here's the counter attack by Otter Valley. On the far side wing, it is Laterno. Letourneau sends it back into the middle. Thomas with a through ball. It's a good one. Pitsley comes out and makes the play. Here's Low now. Clark in the middle. Clark has time, has space. Oh, loses it. Parton hustles back to make the steal and connects the pass on the wing to Weiss. Weiss looking for Heiss. Heiss can't keep it in. Good effort that time, good hustle. Here's the goal kick by Wood. A lot of space in the middle for Calvin and the Otters. Low with a nice play. Stepping up is Dennis. Dennis has time and a whistle on the play. It's going to be a grab, I think, on uh, Otter Valley, so it will be a free kick for U32. Here's Low. Good ball to Weiss. Weiss in the middle. Looking for Heiss. That might have been real close to an offside. I saw the official notice that the defense got the ball, so he didn't raise his hand, but he looked like he was about to salute. Here's a good ball, Thomas. He's got space. He pulls the trigger, deflected away. Who was that? It was Dyer with a header to clear that one out of danger. Here's Dennis with a throw in. Bodock Turner. O'Donnell with a nice play, looking up the line. Too much pace on that one. It will be a throw in by Max Derby. O'Donnell gets a header on it. O'Donnell ahead to Heiss. Heiss changes fields to Parton. Parton in the middle. Back to Weiss. Good ball movement by the Raiders. Here comes McLean now in support. Into the middle. Clark with a nice step. Oop. Step too late. And here's the counterattack. U32 out of position. A little out of their shape. Here's a chance for Otter Valley. And Lowe breaks it up. Good run by Thomas on that far side. Working with his teammate uh, Laterno. Here's a cross into the middle. Good hustle by Weiss to break that up. Laterno and Weiss plays it over the sideline. Laterno will take the throw for Otter Valley. Yeah. 
Nice takeaway by McLean. Looks for Parton up the line. Parton sends it over the sideline. It will be a throw in. It will be Lathrop. Nope, Lathrop drops that one. So it will be Letourneau into the middle. Good takeaway by Clark. Plays it back to Lowe. Lowe with a long ball forward looking for Heiss. Here's Derby being challenged by Heiss. On the foot now of Decker. McLean with a nice step up. Here's Martin. Tries to cross it into the middle. Good challenge by Lowe again. Ooh, and on target, but Pitsley is there. Good strike on that far side. It was Laterno. Here's what the Raiders needed. A nice takeaway by Bodock Turner. Good opportunities in the last couple minutes for Otter Valley. It's Bodock Turner looking for Weiss. Crossed into the middle. Back to Clark. Bodock Turner is there. And they play it. Back to Kopsko. Here's McLean. Here's the cross by Parton. Weiss is there, and he's Maddox Heiss nods it down on the pass from Parton, gets control and taps it in. The Raiders go up to nothing. Excellent cross that time by Parton into the middle, just out of the reach of Wood. Heiss is able to get his head on it and nod it down to his feet, got past Wood and just tapped it in. That's the insurance goal the Raiders needed. Theo Gewissler into the game now for U32. Here's Ben Clark now with a takeaway. Carrying into the middle. Gets past two defenders. Three defenders, shoots, and a oh, save by Wood. It's like the fifth corner kick, I believe, by the Raiders in the second half. Bodock Turner will step up to take it. Bodock Turner will take the right footer, it will curl in on net. Clark is there, got a head on it, but a uh, little too high for him to direct it back at goal. Good challenge by Gewissler, kept in possession by Dennis, working a two-man game with Pelkey. Clark comes away with it. Clark plays it back to Kopsko. Kopsko to Weiss. Weiss in the middle to Bodock Turner. Bodock Turner gets past the defender, gets past two. Gewisler crossed into the middle. Parton redirects. Oh, and a nice play by Martin to get rid of it. Good job by Heiss that time to find Gewisler on the wing. Bodock Turner in the middle looking for Weiss down the right side. Finds Bodock Turner. Gets the shot off, but Wood is there again. Clark will take that throw. Tapped into the middle. Decker clears it away.
McLean plays it back to Kopsko. Great hustle. Here's a chance for Otter Valley. Crossed into the middle. Oh, and almost knotted in. This one goes wide onto the foot of Dennis and played out of bounds. Throw in for Otter Valley. Clark clears it away. Wood. To Martin. Looking down the line. Nice ball by Martin. Cleared away by McLean. That was Lathrop making that run on the pass from Martin. Lathrop now with the throw. We're going to get a substitute. It will be the freshman uh, Dylan Curtis back into the game. For Otter Valley. Here's Ty Holloway who's checked into the game on the left wing for U32. Tries to cross into the middle. Some played out of bounds off an otter. So McLean will take the throw in for the Raiders. As of right now, the winner of this one, uh, if it is U32, it will be a Saturday game at U32 or here. And we're not quite sure of the time. There is a 2.30 field hockey playoff game at U32 as well, a separate field, so they can both play simultaneously if they wish. Here's Heiss to Weiss. Pulls the trigger, but Wood cuts the angle well and makes the save. Good ball forward down the line, intended for Thomas. He's going to earn the throw in for his team. So as I mentioned, Otter Valley played Hartford twice. They split with them. Uh, Hartford 1-1, one, one, Otter Valley 1-1. One, one. So if Otter Valley does get past Milton, that'll be an interesting matchup. Here's a chance, and it's a goal for Otter Valley. Getting his head on it was Logan Letourneau. And Otter Valley right back into it. Might have been partially deflected by a Raider, but it was on its way in. So Otter Valley showing some life. They're a team that uh, doesn't give up and they can surprise you. They can sneak one in. They've done it against some good teams this year, no question about it. Kopsko looks long ahead for Heiss. Here's Clark now. Clark gets past one defender. And I believe wins his team a corner kick. I'm going to kick number six. Bodoc Turner will go take it for U32. Kopsko, who's very good in the air, comes up from his center back spot to threaten. Here's Bodoc Turner's corner. Wood is there. It's deflected and uh, just wide left of the post. I think it was Gawizler that got ahead on that. Gawizler and Parton were both in that vicinity. Woods kick, long in the middle. Clark is there. He's been winning a lot of those air balls, 50-50 balls in the middle this evening. Here's Heiss, and Clark again stops the clear from Decker. Weiss now, twisting and turning. Parton kicks it away down the line. Weiss on the other end of that takeaway finds Heiss. 
Pops it up in the air. And an offsides, I guess, is called. So it will be Wood with a free kick. Not a surprise, Clark gets the first touch on that. Nice takeaway by Bodoc Turner. Here's Heiss with another chance, pulls the trigger, but Wood is right there. Clark with another step up. Nice takeaway. Long shot, and it's good for the goal. Ben Clark from distance. That one did a short hop, bounce. Wood dove, and it kind of went over his hand. So Ben Clark puts the Raiders up three to one. And another bit of a collective sigh of relief by the U32 Raiders fans. Otter Valley, after that uh, recent goal, got the Raiders thinking a little bit. Here's the ball in the middle. Clark comes away with it. Good stop and turn by Derby. Bodock Turner ahead to Heiss. Heiss to Weiss. Good stop and go by Weiss. Gets past his defender, crossed into the middle, but it's partially deflected. Gewisler is there. This one goes out of bounds. It will be a throw in for U32. Alec Crocker, the sophomore midfielder, check into the game. He's a late season call up for U32 from the JV squad. So an exciting bit of time for him, an opportunity to get some minutes. Clark gets a head on it, but it goes over the end line. It will be a free or a goal kick rather for Otter Valley. This ball's gonna go over the sideline. It will be a U32 throw in. Crocker sends one down the line and it stays in, stays in, stays in. It will be Letourneau. Ball in the middle to Decker. Here's McLean looking to play it back. Nobody there, so he finds Bodock Turner ahead. Here's Heiss now. Heiss looking for Decker. A little too much pace on that or Crocker, rather. Crocker with a nice takeaway, and Wood is there to scoop it up. Throw in Otter Valley will be Connor Dennis. That sophomore will be back the next couple years here for Otter Valley. Had some nice minutes, made some nice plays. Here's Holloway on the run, pass from Weiss. Holloway looking to pull the trigger, deflected. Heiss hustles after it. Finds Clark in the middle. Clark pulls the trigger again, looking for the near post. Toby Brown back into the game, Aiden Houston back into the game for U32. Clark wins another ball. 
Little heel pass to Weiss. Weiss into the middle. Brown is there for the header off the crossbar. Weiss with a header, but an amazing save by Isaiah Wood. <laughs> Fun bit of uh, soccer in that little series. This one goes over the sideline at Ouya throwing for U32. U32 Raiders sat in the number two spot of boys Division II soccer uh, really until the last week with those two losses dropped down to the number four slot. But uh, now, as I mentioned, five straight halves without a goal really broke the seal there and scored three straight, which is good business and exactly what they needed going into their quarterfinal matchup against either Milton or Hartford. Clark now, again, in the middle, people just running away from him. Here's Weiss. Now he's got space, crossed back into the middle. Brown bar battling against uh, Dylan Curtis, freshman versus freshman on that far side. Martin clears that one away. McLean comes up to support. On to the foot of Clark, finds Bodock Turner. Looking for Weiss. Weiss dancing, dancing. Finds Holloway, the one-timer, and Wood is there for the save. Punted away by Wood. And a little collision. It's going to be a free kick for U32. I have to say that uh, the refs let them play a little bit. There was some bumping, but nothing dirty early. This has been a spectacularly clean game. Maybe one, two, just a few fouls called in this one. Lowe, who played a spectacular game in that center back spot. Right place, right time all night. Sends that ball forward. Here's Weiss to Clark. Bodock Turner back in. Here's Clark again. Time ticking away under a minute. Bodock Turner finds Weiss. He's open in the middle right off of Wood, though. Another save. Just the exclamation point for Wood. Uh, just one more to his... Uh, Easy dozen saves and many, many spectacular ones tonight. This game could have easily gotten way out of hand if not for the play of Isaiah Wood. Good takeaway by Holloway. And that's going to do it for this one. Time ticking away. 2-1, the U32 Raiders have punched their ticket to the second round of Boys Division II playoffs. They defeat Otter Valley by a score of 3-1 to one on goals by Shiloh Weiss, Maddox Heiss, and Ben Clark. The goal for Otter Valley was Logan Letourneau, the junior. And that's going to do it. I'd like to thank you all for joining us on this NFHS broadcast of Boys Division II playoff soccer. Uh, in conjunction with CVTSport.net, I'd like to thank my cameraman, Sammy Cammy Tucker, always bringing you the excellent video action. My producer, Brandon Reynolds, and uh, his debut did a good job keeping the score and the clock for us and bringing us the commercials. Thanks for joining us. I've been Carl Parton. Once again, final time, the score is U32-3, Otter Valley 1, U32 takes on the winner of Hartford and Milton in the boys' quarterfinals, which we will have for you here on the NFHS Network and CVTSport.net. Thanks for joining us. Good night, everybody, and via Dios. No, no, no.
This has been a local sports video production brought to you by CVTSport.net, your local sports video leader. We'd like to thank our longtime partners, CVTV723.org, channel 192 and 194, Central Vermont Community Access Television, and Orca Media, Onion River Community Access Television in the greater Montpelier area is media for the people. My daddy made this. Daddy!